last with all the stuff that they came out in the last six months about you know that person what y'all gotta understand is it was so many celebrities back there that were cool with the lifestyle and the things he did to entertain them the parties and who he was as a person <sighs> I'm just gonna say it's not isolated. There's more people involved. And you know, when you get caught, you do be the one that everybody think of, but y'all need to think of everybody when y'all think of him because the access and the amount of people that was back there and the, you know this is just one party it's been hundreds it's been thousands of them so i'm just gonna leave that out there and let y'all deal with that but my name is tommy springfield and i'm better than you if you're new here click that like share subscribe hit the bell click all so you can get notifications every time i drop one of these videos and please allow me to reintroduce myself my name is tommy springfield aka that fly on the wall aka the most interesting in childhood stay thirsty my friends aka the king of talk and the king of all things related to talk so today's video is about this guy I can't remember his name at the time but um he got a following his line is story time that's his his channel and this one is about surviving a diddy party and he says some interesting things and he basically names names so before we get to that just to remind you i'm 420 friendly over here i drink a lot of coffee i got big cups of tea with extra sugar at the bottom and fruit in them and that's just what we do here that's a little too much for you to handle i appreciate your view thus far but um thanks and you know do what you do and let's get into today's video so i get to the party now i've been around celebrities i've been in spaces with them but when i'm telling y'all like so the party the way the party was set up it was at like this mansion in the hamptons right so you went in and it was like general admission like but it was still some movers and shakers in that part of the party but then it teared off so like as you went to different part different parts of the house it was more people but you had to have access to get back there now listen one rule of going to any party that's going to be tiered off with access depending on who you are and who you know you're going to need a pretty girl better yet get you two pretty girls so i already had arranged for two girls to meet me there and i knew they had access to a lot of different things right <laughs> They meet me at the front. You know, they walk in with me because I got a pass plus three. And I'm just supposed to be meeting the artist, giving the artist the money. The artist is supposed to perform at this event. I didn't expect to meet anybody. I met, I expected to like have like general access to this event, have a good time, get paid <laughs> at the end of the day, get on a plane in the morning, go back home. I had to be to work Monday. I had a good job, right? So, as soon as I walk in with the two girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for my contact. And so, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I bump into, look, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna change some names because I ain't trying to get sued. I'm not trying to get Tasha K by Cardi B on this platform. So, I'm gonna change some names so they, they may sound similar, but y'all gonna know who I'm talking about, all right? Allegedly, know who I'm talking about. Okay, all right. So I see the kid, well, the grown man who resembles Webster. Let's this is let's call him Bobby. Okay, let, I see Bobby. I see him. I've met him before. So I sort of like had. A I don't know who that one is. He he lost me. The little kid that resembles Webster, and call him Bobby. I don't know. He, 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 he lost me with the report. So I saw him, hey, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And he's like, oh, you in here? Oh, we about to have some fun tonight. Da, 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 da. Now, I have some old, some past things that has happened at parties that has, that has happened that I'm known for, but I'm not that person anymore. Not at all, not at all. I'm a, I'm a refined person at this point in my life. So I see him. He's I see he sees the two girls and they like oh they you know so this is, so he takes me to the second tier. Still looking for my contact. I didn't see him in the first tier. So he takes me to the second tier of the party. As soon as we walk into the second tier of the party, I see you know let's just call her Auntie. 
okay? She resembled Mamifa Franklin, if that makes any sense. Mamifa Franklin from Breed Point. So, so I definitely know who that one is, and I'm not gonna say her name, but we all know her. You know, it's one of the greatest black singers of all time, and Bertita Franklin. <laughs> from Detroit. <laughs> I love her. You know what I'm saying? I love everything about her. My mom grew up on her records, everything. You know what I'm saying? So I, she walks over to her, gives her a hug. She gives me a hug. And she's like, ooh, I like you big, thick, and chocolate. Ooh, she rubbing on the back of my neck and she rubbing my chest. And she's like, ooh, go over here and give me a drink. Get us a drink. Get us a drink and come on back over here, right? So I go over there and get her a drink, get myself a drink. I mean, it's you know, it's it's auntie. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited at this point. So I come back, I come back over with the drink. I tell it I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I would have been excited too, especially he's saying this is in the nineties. I I I, I would have took her down too. The two girls, I'm like, hey, see if y'all can find so-and-so so I can drop this money off. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, I'm trying to kick it. I already done hooked up with Bobby and Auntie. I'm like, when? I told the one girl, she goes and looks. She comes back like eight minutes later. She's like, oh, he over in the, um, like the, the it's like a, the atrium or whatever. He's over in the atrium. So I go over to the atrium. I see him. I'm like, all right, here's the money. Da, 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 da. He's arguing with this other dude. Like, so now the other dude, y'all know him, but y'all may not know him. He a real mover and shaker. Uh, I'm just going to say he got stabbed by somebody else that was very popular back in the 90s. And he is OK, but, you know, whatever. So they're, they're arguing about something. And so I'm like, see, he threw me off with that because, you know, a lot of people come to mind that got stabbed in the 90s. That was a mover and shaker. But he didn't say what field they were from. Oh, I think they from music. Said they got stabbed by another popular guy. He didn't see if they was popular now. So, yeah, you know, I'm a little confused on that one. Hey, you know, let me, you know, interject real quick. So they arguing, arguing. And so they look at me and be like, all right, you settle it. You settle it. All right, what what day, what day was Caesar killed on? Now, many of y'all don't know this. I am a, I have a brain full of useless facts. Like, I could be on Jeopardy. Like, I, I know so much stuff about stuff that don't even matter. It's crazy. So I was like, yeah, the eyes of March. And it was like, I told you it was the eyes of March. I told you, I told you. Then. And I'm I'm thinking they was arguing about money, an artist, power, something like that. No, they was arguing about historical facts. And I'm like, what? So he like, oh, you a smart, you a smart nigga right there. This, this nigga right here is smart. Y'all don't understand. This nigga like this, 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 this. And I'm like, okay, hey, let me give you this money and I can go back over with Auntie and Bobby because I'm here to have fun now. This work part is over. So I get him the money and you know what I'm saying? So I go back over to Auntie. So here come the other dude who got stabbed. And so he comes back over there. He's like, hey man, you pretty smart dude. What you do? And I was like, you know, I mean, you know, I rap a little bit, but you know, I do the booking thing, da 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 da. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me hear what you got. So I was don't get me wrong, I was ready. I had I had I had an MP3 player ready to go. Like somebody wanna hear it, pop this in. I had CDs, I had jump drives. If if anybody wanted to hear my demo that weekend, they was gonna hear my demo that weekend. So I gave him the CD, gave him the MP3 player, he listened to it, he listened to it for probably like 30 seconds. He like, yeah, I sign you. I sign you right now. And I'm like, that? He like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm like, you ain't gonna listen to the whole song? He was like, look, young blood, the music industry ain't about talent. It's about a little bit of talent, but who you know, what they're willing to invest in you, and power. And so Auntie heard him say that. And she was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's all it is, baby. Ain't none of these people in here talented. Now, when I came up, I, you had to be talented. You had to have skill. You had to have know-how and you had to have access. And so she's still rubbing my back, by the way. You know what I'm saying? She's rubbing my back as she's telling me all. Hey, hey, man, do we believe this guy, man, is a a a, a Blanca rubbing his back? Is he at this ditty party sitting here uh, drinking and getting a yeah, little cullied up with one of Detroit's finest top celebrities. Is this real, folks? And so he's like, yeah, 
we could do the deal tonight if you want. And I'm like, okay. He was like, come on back here. Come on. And so we about to go back to the, you know, where um the host of the party was. So I'm like a little blown away, a little taken back. Cause now I'm like in this inner circle of this conversation. So, and we moving towards, and so they still talking. So auntie Bobby and you know, the record is So we walking back to this other part of the house and you know, it's security back there. But as soon as we walk in, I see everybody i'm talking aaron carter well you know what i'm not gonna say no names. i'm just gonna say i seen you know i saw a lot of i'm gonna make this clear he only outs the white names the black names you gotta uh figure them shits out i'm just saying a famous people that you i did not know was even there right so <clears throat> i'm back there and it's some stuff going on. Like it's some some kissing, some heavy petting, some touching, some alternative things. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as we walk in, you know, I see this famous rapper from New York. Let's just say he rhymes, if you will. And he's sitting at a table. Oscar rhymes? I don't know. I'm just saying, well, I don't know, allegedly, I'm just guessing. Don't get mad at me, Buster. When well, they like, they doing lines, you know, of uh, substance. So he like, bro, come on in, go ahead. Bang this right quick, bang this right quick, son. Yo, bang this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, I already party like that. And so everybody turned around and looked. And I was like, yeah. So they sort of like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, ah, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I told a joke or something real quick and then everybody started to laugh, but it was sort of like one of them initiation looks like, if you back here, you gotta know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm telling you what I learned that day, I'm gonna get into it, but let's go. So we back there, we drinking, we having a good time now, it's super hot. So I started to get a freaking headache. And so auntie was like, you know, you got a headache? I was like, I got something for that. And so she handed me this little envelope and it had, I, my grandmother used it and it was called like, I think Bacta or something like that, whatever that stuff is like aspirin, but it's like the powdered version or whatever. So I, you know, took some of that and then I drank me something, get that headache out the way. So <clears throat> about 10 minutes later, I like start feeling real funny. And I was like, Ooh, that stuff still ain't kicking in. And she was, and so Bobby was like, yeah, that wasn't aspirin, bruh. That wasn't aspirin. <laughs> And I'm like, Bobby, what you mean? They're like, yeah, that was cocaine, bro. You, you, you just, yeah. Uh-huh. I've never seen nobody eat it. So, he's saying the queen soul slipped him some. You know what I'm saying? But she the captain of the ski team. And she passing out the skis is what he just said. Y'all heard him. But, yeah, this is a new adventure for you. <laughs> I'm like, now... I'm like, now I'm a drug user and um, it's, it's, it's getting interesting because, you know, I got a real weak stomach, right? I mean, weak, like my constitution ain't nothing, right? So probably like three minutes after that, you know, my stomach just start bubbling. And I'm like, oh man, I got to take a shit in this bathroom. I need to take a shit in this mansion. So I'm looking for the bathroom, looking for the bathroom. It's like, you know, it's like, it's bathroom everywhere. It's like 36 bathrooms in here. So I go in the bathroom and I'm in the store and it's like honestly it's like a bathroom you would find like at a rec center because it's like stalls and i mean the house is freaking huge it's probably about the house alone is probably like thirty thousand square feet or whatnot right so i'm in the bathroom and i'm in the stall and i'm just like whoosh, whoosh. i mean it's all coming out all coming out and i'm back there and i'm sweating and i'm shitting and all i hear out the, the thing i hear like a group of i hear a group of guys come in and it's like i I don't know what what the fuck he on but all i know is that nigga is gonna suck my dick tonight and i'm like i'm in the store and i'm like gonna suck your dick and i'm like i don't give a fuck what that nigga think he on he on suck so i look through the thing and i really can't make out who it is but i hear him like three four dudes talking about it and he like calm down calm down you know what i'm saying it ain't that serious he's like no nah, no nah. he think he's somebody i'm gonna show him who he is i'm gonna show him who he really is tonight you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking, and then all of a sudden, they're like, anybody in the bathroom? And I'm like, 
shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm out here taking the shit. And then, you know, so they, they opening the stalls. I'm like, nigga, I'm taking the shit. You want some shit on your hand? And so the dude, we started laughing when he heard me say that. And so when I, you know, got done shit and then I came out the stall and I saw who it was. Yo. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So that's his first part of the story. Now we going into part two of the story. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Click that like, share, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notifications every time I do videos like this. So let's get back. I don't know who the person in the stall is because I really didn't watch all of this. So. We gonna see if he give up a name. If the person ain't white, he ain't giving up his name. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I'm in the bathroom taking a shit, you know, and this shit is murderous, right? And so I see, I hear, so I come out the bathroom and I see who it was. Now, all I'm gonna say is he's a rapper and an actor. Do with that what you will. And so he's like, you know, you so-and-so's artist that was about to sign with so-and-so. A rapper and an actor. We, we got a lot of those, so... It, 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 it could be anybody, man. It could be anybody. And he's like, man, let me hear, let me hear, let me hear. So I pull out the MP3 player and let him hear the song, right? And so he's he's like, he listens to the song for about eight seconds. He's like, oh, I want that song. I'll buy that song right now tonight. So he like, hey, you know, he grabbed one of his dudes. He's like, hey, go find my money, man. He over in the atrium. Tell him I'm in the bathroom. Tell him to come back with the money. And so I'm like, why would he, what? <laughs> so he grabbed dude by his shoulders, bring him close to him, kiss him on his forehead. And go tell the dude to run off. And I'm like, you just let a grown man kiss you on your forehead and you ran off to do what he said? I'm like, where y'all niggas from? Like, what was happening back there? I'm telling you, it was crazy, right? So we come out. I go out the bathroom. So I come out the bathroom. Dude, to trying to sign me. He's standing there. He's like, hey, come here. I want to meet you. Somebody show you some people. And so, dude, to come out the bathroom. You know, he like, hey, you know, what I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, work some business. Da da da. He's like, no, this is my artist. You know, so they like, wait, are you? And then here come the host of the party, right? So he come in, dun, 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 you know, doing all that. You know, he do. They all, you know, in like a circle talking, right? <laughs> Now, they're in the circle talking, and then he's like, yeah, this is my artist, da 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 I'm about to sign him. He's like, you know, I got a few people here. So he had another artist that was with him, the host. Now, this artist actually ended up coming out, right? And he was actually nice, had a couple hits, you know what I'm saying? What happened that night, I don't care what that, I don't care what he did for the rest of his career. Like, what he did that night, yeah, I ain't, you know. I never, you know, I don't know who this artist is. <clears throat> But what he about to say is crazy. So let's get to it. Mm, let's get into it. You know, the, the host is like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go hit some cigars, da 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 da. So they go over to the cigar spot. He do like, come on, you know what I'm saying? So now we're in a little cigar spot. Now it's probably only about eight or nine dudes in here at this point. And they hitting cigars. Now the host in there, he capping. Like, you know, I mean, it ain't capped because it's him, you know what I'm saying? Because he probably do, you know, all this stuff and whatnot. But he just like, you know, I got power, you know, I got money, I got respect, the industry is mine, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I got Martha Stewart out there doing lines off a of random nigga's chest right now. Now, I ain't see that, but I did see Martha Stewart. But, you know what I'm saying, like, he going in just like, da 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 I can make anything happen. So, the artist dude, he was about to sign, and me, we was standing next to each other, and we was just looking, listen to him, what he was talking about, right? And so, everything he was saying, the artist dude kept co-signing, kept saying like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, my man, my man. You know what I'm saying? You know, some old New York shit. You know, son, son, son. And so I'm sitting there. I'm high off ecstasy. I'm high off coke. I got diarrhea. My stomach still blue, 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 blue. I'm just like, man. I'm sweating, you know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here, cause I'm like, man, I'm gonna get this record deal. You know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm gonna get this record deal. So then, dude, you know, the host like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I can make anybody do anything because this life is what everybody wants. And I got the keys to the castle. You know what I'm saying? I got the control. And he like going off. And so he look at dude and he point. He like, yo, suck my man's dick right now. And I'm like, he definitely not pointing at me, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you hear him talking to you. 
And it was the dude next to me, the artist dude that he was trying to sign. And so the dude hear him say that and he started laughing. He like, ha, 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 you're so ha, ha, son, son. <laughs> and so as he's, you know, laughing, everybody else, you know, sort of like hitting their cigar and looking like intently. Ain't nobody laughing. Like they know, you know what I'm saying? They done seen this shit before. And so they quiet. They like, you know, listening. And so he like, you know, the host, he like, man, hurry up. Suck this nigga's dick. Like, hurry up. Come on, suck. So, so did he just yell, yo, Bob, that dude, knob, and dudes is just sitting there like this? Yeah, that whole room was gay. Yup, I said it, that whole room was gay. This niggas did. And so dude likes real, real hesitant, you know, to do it. And I'm sitting there like these niggas like listening intently. And I'm like appalled. I'm like, nigga, you, you really considering sucking this niggas dick? Like, I'm like, what's about that? You know what I'm saying? Where you I'm just saying, I, like j jokingly playing, like if, if you don't fire off on a dude in a situation like that, like whether you did what he told you to do like he said I, you could never get respect outside that room ever again nobody that was in that room that seen that could, could ever gone respect you bro that's crazy like I, I, i'd rather be known for the dude that beat diddy up for disrespecting me and i might have got stomped out or whatever happened to me i'd rather be that dude you from so you know so the host had like a personal man like butler type situation so the butler start clearing people out like hey you scoot over you know da 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 and the butler pulls out a duffel bag full of money and he's like i'll give you a hundred thousand dollars right now you suck this nigga's dick right now and so i'm like they no way not i so dude like looking intently at the the bodyguard dude and he like staring at him he's like really considering like i'm gonna suck this nigga this is where I got to give a public service announcement. He about to get a little bit too graphic for me. But he might be a little too graphic for you. So this is the only time where I said, hmm, is this a real story or is he making it up? Because he got too goddamn graphic about this. And um, I just can't, you know, like I said, everybody in that room ain't right. And how he described this part of the story, you know, I, I applaud him, I salute him, but I can't do a story like this at this time. And I'm like, no, in my head, I'm, I'm like this. I'm like, no, no, you're not going to, no, no, you're not going to do it. No, no, nobody, no, no, run, run, get out of here. Skedaddle. So the dude like started walking towards the butler. I mean, starts walking towards the bodyguard to suck his dick. And so the bodyguard started leaning back, relaxing his shoulders and shit, and sort of like you know poking his midsection out like to get his dick sucked. And so the dude like start taking a knee to get down to suck this nigga's dick. I'm high right now, and I'm just like, I don't. Did, am I in the twilight zone? Is this shit really happening? I'm high too, bro. And this part of the story blows my high. And so he unzipped his zipper and look, listen, I know dicks come in all shapes and sizes and all kinds of, you know, weird and amazing and craziness come. With dicks, but when I tell you this nigga had the most frightening dick I've ever seen in my life, I was to this day, like I sometimes, right, what the, you know what I'm saying? Cause this nigga's dick traumatized me. For one, it was about the size of a fucking baby hip. Like, <sighs> it was huge. Like, and he dropped that motherfucker down and, and it just like had weight to it. My brother felt like, bam. And it was covered in hair and veins and it was, it was white dude too. I mean, it was like, it was like just all hair all the way down the shaft, like hair on the tip. Like, I'm not talking like a little bit of hair. I'm talking like an elephant truck. Like, I mean, like a prehistoric elephant trunk. Like it was just, ugh, ugh. And the dude was like, you know, he got on his knees and he reached up under the shaft And 
he like lifted it up as soon as he like touched it and put his hands up under it and started to lift it up the dude started getting hard and so i'm like nigga you about to suck a hard prehistoric elephant trunk i'm uh, you, you no mm -mm. so with the thing he get it get closer and closer to his mouth get closer and he like literally got it like right there right there in his mouth and then the host like oh man you ain't gotta suck that nigga's dick man you ain't gotta nah man we just fucking with you nigga we just fucking with you nigga you know, nah, 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 nah. and so everybody bust out laughing except me except me so i'm like looking at the nigga I'm like nah nah right i'm not laughing neither that shit yo man listen like I said, man, I looked this dude up, you know, he got a big problem with me. Like, I don't know, he talk about other celebrities too, man, but, you know, I think he could have left all that out. But for the sake of telling stories, yeah, I guess he had to say that. Nah, nah, it don't matter what they talk about, nigga, you can't hit rewind. <laughs> You still had that nigga's dick in your hand. You was about to suck that nigga's dick. No, no violation. I was, I was spent. Like I, like you know, and Bobby, Bobby came up to me on the next. He was like, "Man, this shit crazy, ain't it?" I was like, "Hey, remember to hit that like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, click all, so you can get notifications every time I do one of these videos." Man, I don't want this life. I don't want this life at all. If this is what happened behind the curtain all the time and y'all niggas comfortable with this, I'm cool. And so the dude, he, you know, he get up off the ground and you know, everybody like hitting him on his shoulder. Like, oh man, that's crazy, that's crazy. You was about to suck that nigga's dick. Da, da. <laughs> and they laughing it off. They handing him some, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, some money, some water, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, every time I hear this man's records to this day, I be like, yeah, you was about to suck that nigga's dick. Mm-mm, baby, I can't dance to this. Mm-mm. Now I said, listen, ain't nothing wrong if that's what you do but to be forced to do it not even forced you did that for power and money now people have done less don't get me wrong it's it's niggas who done suck dicks for happy meals so i get it but what he be rapping about the lifestyle he have mm -mm, no violation Mm -mm, no not i said the king so i turn around i start walking out so dude trying to sign me he like where you going fam where you going he like i'm like fam this ain't for me man this ain't for me at all and he like cuz come on dog this you know what i'm saying it's just games you know what i'm saying nah man y'all be back here doing this shit for real right there ain't just no fucking games who, who what type of real men play those games that's why i laugh when i hate to do this but when New York dudes be like, pause, pause, man, my granddaddy or his daddy wasn't saying pause. You saying pause because you want to let everybody in the circle know we ain't on that gay stuff right now. We in public. That's what the pause is about. Because if you a man, speak manly. You know you ain't gay, so you ain't gonna see Pauls and no Diddy and. But anyways, but for real, he like man, you about to walk away from all of this? You can have all of this. You can have a record deal tonight, and yo, you know what I'm saying? Your record be on MTV in the next month. I'm like, I got a good job. I got a family. I got a life I, I love. I respect my life. I can do it another way. And I walk out. Bobby come chasing me. He like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? You about to leave? And I was like, yeah man. I da 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 da. He like, man, well, hey, we. You never in Atlanta hit me up, da da da, and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool, bet. That was the first time I went to a white party. Second time, I'm just gonna tell you, I got arrested. But I say all that to say this. Well, all the stuff that they came out in the last six months about, you know, that person, what y'all gotta understand is it was so many celebrities back there that were cool with the lifestyle and the things he did to entertain them, the parties, and who he was as a person. <sighs> I'm just gonna say it's not isolated there's more people involved and you know when you get caught you do be the one that everybody think of but y'all need to think of everybody when y'all think of him because the access and the amount of people that was back there and the, you know this is just one party it's been hundreds it's been thousands of them so i'm just gonna leave that out there and let y'all deal with that but that's just one of my wild and crazy stories i see you in the next one so there you have it, you know. So I get to the party. He, 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 he say he went to a daily party. That's up to you to believe him. You know, 
I personally, I kind of believe him because these stories are told. You know what I'm saying? This is not the first time I heard old girl. Maybe the Queen of Soul was at one of those parties, you know. And like he said, there's hundreds and thousands of those parties. Many people been to those parties. Many people went to the different tiers in those parties. But like I always say, hit that like, share, subscribe, man. Click the bell, click all so you can get notifications every time I do one of these videos. And if you're a supporter of the channel, much love and respect goes out to you and I salute. You, and you, and you, and you. And if you one of them haters out there, cut the shit.